ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 16th day of January. The long-promised journey into the deep freeze is here, and we'll see if this thing Sunday can bring any mischief to the state. A lot to talk about. Let's go right to it. The uh, Birmingham Sky Cam early this morning. Almost everybody somewhere between 10 and 15. We talked about that, and that's where we are. I think the uh, sky cam down there is showing 13 right now in downtown Birmingham. We'll get all the final numbers later this morning and post them on the blog. Downtown Jasper, I do believe they are at uh, 12. And up on Mount Chihaw, uh, we were showing 17 up there. Again, uh, if the wind goes calm, they'll be warmer. If the wind is blowing, they'll be colder. Uh, but whatever, it's cold enough. And there's a look at the upper air chart. Whopper of a warm ridge over the Pacific Northwest. And, of course, the downstream Arctic trough over the east. Numbers this morning looking like that. And, again, up in the core of the cold air, we see a couple of spots colder than uh, minus 30 up over uh, parts of uh, Minnesota. Take a look at the Alabama numbers. Uh, looks like the Birmingham airport in this observation is showing 14, Gadsden 12. Coleman 10, Anniston 15 up in the Tennessee Valley, 11's up there. And again, it'll be interesting to see if any of the valleys did go calm. It's pretty windy out there this morning. And understand the wind chill index in Birmingham is near zero right now. So, uh, and again, I, I have great concern tomorrow morning might even be colder in spots if the wind can go completely calm. So that is the story. The QPF chart quickly showing not much. Uh, this is for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening, but we'll dig deeper into the models here. This is the 06Z, uh, ZGFS, valid at noon today. And there's your brutally cold look over the east. Down below that, a 1,040 millibar high north of us. You know, it's never really getting on top of us. It looks like it's staying a little north. So it's still going to be uh, a north wind at 7 to 14 today, and that's going to put the wind chill value uh, probably down in the teens at times. Uh, and a high only in the mid-30s. We will be lucky if we get above freezing today. Tomorrow, the uh, surface high is on to the east. And again, we start the day down there in the mid-teens. And we should warm up into the 40s. Now, Sunday, here comes this next issue. And you know, all week we've identified this. A very strong lobe coming through the trough. You can see the uh, uh, colored the shades there of yellow to the northwest of the state. We'll kind of get down in here. This is 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And again, the moisture is pretty light, and the uh, thickness values there suggesting that it might initially start off as some light rain with really a better rain opportunity down to the south of Montgomery. And again, oftentimes the models warm us up in a hurry, so we're still going to mention a chance of some light rain or light snow. Here's a look at noon, and the, uh, the thickness values actually are going down following that front. It's a secondary cold front coming in. And again, there could be a few snowflakes behind that front, but uh, the better moisture over the southern part of the state, and definitely it's more aggressive down there. Let's keep an eye on this. Uh, you know, now that we've got the Arctic cold in here, we can focus on that, and that is clearly the next event. And then Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, the model pretty aggressive with a good moisture feed coming up through Georgia and the Carolinas, and that might hint at some pretty decent snow there, really from maybe Macon, Georgia, up to Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, but it looks like if we do see any winter weather problems with this of a serious nature, it might be east of Alabama. Uh, but it's interesting to note that just as the GFS is getting wetter, this is the NAM, and it's just bone dry, uh, not showing much at all. So, again, uh, while we're watching this, we still don't see enough evidence to make us change from that chance of light rain or light snow deal. Uh, and then uh, Monday, back to the GFS, all of that is gone. And that looks pretty cold. I mean, I, I don't think we get out of the 30s on Monday. If that's right, we'll probably have to bump the numbers down again. And there's a look at uh, Tuesday. We note a little disturbance coming down the flow, squeezing out a few snow flurries over uh, Tennessee and Kentucky. Look at the European on Tuesday. It's got this big surface low over there off the uh, coast of uh, South Carolina, which originated down in the northeastern Gulf. Again, that uh, for the moment is somewhat of an outlier, but uh, we'll watch that as well. That's with that secondary feature. But uh, the bottom line is it still looks pretty cold on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday of next week, we start to warm up after a cold morning. That should get us back up to about 50 and Thursday. Another disturbance passes north of the state, but again, it looks like most of that will be shunted north of Alabama. 
Uh, let's go out five more days, the 27th. Pretty good-looking trough coming in here, and by golly, that looks pretty wet if that's right. And uh, also some colder air behind that thing. Uh, maybe a brief change to snow back on the backside, but that you know rarely produces anything big. And then at the end of the month on the 31st, that looks a lot warmer. A big warm-up there is uh, down at the surface. You can see uh, we might be above normal at that point, and the cold air is pretty much scoured out over much of the nation except the northeast. I get the idea they're going to be uh, in the cold up there for the foreseeable future. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.